Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the channel. A brand new patch 2.0.2 has been released for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details as well as the patch notes in today's video. So a few weeks ago now, we had an update from Pokemon on the back of the release of the Teal Mask saying that a new patch would be coming to Scarlet and Violet in early October. Well, that patch has now dropped and it is accessible in your games. To update your game when you're on the home menu, if you've got your game closed, remember just save your game before you do this, then press the plus icon on your controller. You get this screen up and you can come down to software update via the internet and it will connect and give you the latest update that is available, which is the 2.0.2 update for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's a very short update, so it shouldn't take too long, but once the update is done, you'll be able to see the version number is 2.0.2, and that is the game all updated. Of course, this was tweeted out by Play Pokemon earlier on today, and update version 2.0.2 has been released for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We can take a look at all of the patch notes if we go over to the link that they send us to and the latest version updates. Bug fixes. Under certain conditions, victories against the NPC trainers scattered across the game world may not have been recorded. As a result, the rewards players could earn by winning a certain number of battles, such as the Pokemon League representatives in the Paldea region or Ogre clan members in the land of Kitakami were not obtainable. This bug has been fixed, so players who experience these issues can now challenge affected NPC trainers again to record their victories and subsequently receive any eligible rewards. And another fix that they're stating, it was not previously possible to transfer certain special Pokemon to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet via Pokemon Home if those Pokemon were brought into Pokemon Home from Pokemon Go. Even if Pokemon of the same species had already been obtained in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet prior to version 1.3.2, this bug has been fixed and the issue has been resolved. So whatever the issue was there has been resolved. You shouldn't have any more issues trading in Pokemon from Pokemon Home, especially if they're coming from Pokemon Go into Scarlet and Violet. I'm, I'm guessing there was some sort of issue with trade from Pokemon Go into Scarlet and Violet through Home. So that issue has been resolved now. And then they finish it up with other select bug fixes have been implemented, but stating nothing. Just go a little bit further onto this, Matt Yukana, one of the well-renowned data miners in the community has done a test on one of the issues that they haven't stated in the uh, the patch notes, which was an issue where the game crashed completely if you were in the Paradise Protection Protocol battle at the very end of the game against Coriodon or Moriodon, depending on which copy you had. And if you went and hovered over the fourth, fifth or sixth slots in your game, actually crashed the game, but this has being tested by Matt after the latest update. So this does not affect or crash your game any longer. So that has been patched out, though not stated in the patch notes. And then Anubis goes on to say that the 2.0.2 patch added a new save block, which can store 200 more random trainers. This brings us to a total of 500 records. Uh, will we ever hit 500? So maybe with the Indigo Disc, depending on how big it is, how many trainers are in there, I don't think we're going to get that many trainers in the Indigo Disc. But you never know, right? I would have thought that Game Freak kind of planning ahead would have put enough of a cap on there to cover everything that will be included in the Indigo Disc. So we shouldn't have this problem occurring once again. So you say probably not going to get more than 500 trainers overall. And also Anubis did do a brief test to see about collecting outbreak data, but it looks like they're still having the same issues with the date skipping glitch. If you get further into it, the game starts lagging. So looking like we still have those issues performance wise in the game still. So they are the patch notes for 2.0.2 or 2.0.2. And that is everything that we wanted to cover in today's video. It does look like it's fixed a few issues that a lot of players were having. Obviously now, if you haven't been able to do the Ogre Clan side quest, you can go out and do it after this update, which is really good. So that's something to finish off in your games before the Indigo disc does drop. Of course, if you want a full guide on all of the locations of the Ogre Clan, if you don't know them already, we have done a video on the channel. So shameless plug you can check that out i'll link it up in the top right hand corner for you um but other than that these are the patch notes nothing too special we are getting a, a pokemon home update later today or it might have already happened uh, but that is just coinciding with this latest patch to make sure that the issues that were occurring between pokemon traded in from go to home to scarlet and violet are resolved so everything should be running 
smoothly going forward and we are on the way to the indigo disc when we'll get news on that hopefully very soon but we're still in the dark about when the release date for the indigo disc will be um let me know when you think it'll be i do probably think it's still going to be that late november date but it might even be into december don't know if i'm being too hopeful with that but let's see but thanks for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day take care of yourselves and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye